Welcome back to Fishing Simulator. I am Amazing Gaming. Let's run and talk about the new update a little bit more because you know what we want to do? We want to get some more of these amazing fish in different colors and I'm going to show you the best tips and tricks on how to do that because right now there's a lot of videos coming out with people saying this is how you get the best fish but they're not actually getting the fish in the video. So to prove to you that I can actually get the fish we're going to go fishing today. Anyway if you do enjoy this video please throw a like on it don't forget if you haven't already subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any more of my content and now I'm going to show you my colored fish right here check it out these are all well apart from this little dude down here now he's there for comparison the little angel fish but the rest in here are colored I do have a colored sunfish I do have the swordfish the clownfish angelfish there's actually a red one in here too if we just go to the edit there you can see this is a large red one but I have to take it out and put it back in because it's very shy and likes to hide so I'm going to pop that back in there doesn't want to go back in and now we should be able to see it there it is look how awesome it is these are amazing I can't wait to collect all of them I just love these fish and I've actually got a couple of colored ones over the side too. You can see these tiny little neon swordfish. I've got two of them. They're so sweet but because they're babies, this is my baby tank right here. I wanted to show it to you. Even the sunfish there is so tiny. They're adorable. They're cute. Look at them all. I've got a tiny little swordfish and I've got like marlin and everything. It's just so, they're so cute. So that's my baby tank. This is my colored tank, which I absolutely love. And also, I managed to get one of these achievements done. So we're going to click, click and claim this one right now for 1,000 sea creatures. And I get 500 gems, which is amazing. So I really only have two indexes left to complete, which is the fish index for 10,000 gems and the 10,000 catches, which I'm just shy of halfway on right now. So this is my colored wall of awesome fish and this is my baby wall and then in here these are all the huge fish all of them look at these gigantic fish and I've also got the shark and the orca the baby orca and the baby shark in there and they're just insane look at them oh my gosh they're so huge today is definitely going to be about catching more fish and getting more awesome ones for our tanks this is going to be my neon tank. So right now it's just got a few from the volcano eruption area and a couple of rainbow parrotfish, but that is going to be my neon tank. Then this one over here, I'm going to keep pretty much as is. So any fish that have the blue and yellow variety and look amazing, they're going to go in here and going to stay in here because I just love those. And I actually love this fish as well. I want to see if I can get those in a few different colors. And then this one here is just my regular half and halves. Like I call them half and halves because their belly is a lot lighter than their the back and fin. So that is like my half and half. So until we get another upgrade, like another level, do you know what I'm really hoping that we do get for this? The aquarium is not only your place for fish, but we have a, like a spiral staircase that runs around the edge of this tank and goes up to a second level. And then we have like our own living quarters with a view of everywhere from Port Jackson. And it's client side, so no one else can see it but you, but you can invite people there and you have your own like house up there. That'd be amazing. And then more tank space as well for bigger tanks and different things like that. So that is what I'm hoping that we're going to get in this game. Anyway, let's keep going. We're going to go and do some fishing. There is a few things that you're going to need to make sure that you get what you need to do to get this done. Firstly, the rod I'm holding right now is a mythic rod. It is the best rarity chance that you can get. You're going to need anywhere between 200,000 gold and 400,000 gold to give yourself a good chance of getting it. And you're just going to want to open, open, open these chests until you get it. You're going to then use the gems that you earn from Reagan's Tavern to upgrade the rarity on it. And also you're going to use your leftover gold to buy a yacht. You're going to need that. So we're going to go into here and make sure we have the yacht equipped. It's the fifth one along and it's already equipped. 
As you can see, I've maxed out the rarity chance so that you've got 10% bonus on here. The other thing you're going to need is a tool, actually. You're going to need the fish finder, which is on my hotbar position four. And you can now see hot spots appearing on the ocean, just on the mini map right there. You won't be able to see it when you enlarge it, but you will be able to see it when you look at it in the little map down the bottom. Let's go over to fin supplies because we need to look at the rod and see what its level is as well. So we've got 10% rarity on the boat right now as you can see I need to increase the rarity on it because I don't have enough so we're gonna go ahead and spin that a little bit so I've got 10 gems left but that's okay I've got a level 22 on rarity chance so that's you know pretty good I don't know what the percentage is exactly because it doesn't really say what that chance is but you know what it's fine we do have it so that's done all right let's get to fishing now so we're gonna take the yacht out and we are going to find a nice spot out in the ocean we're going to avoid the far north and we're going to avoid the eruption island for two very good reasons orcas and sharks the lights on keep the hotspot finder on and oh look at this so right here you'll notice we've got two hotspots overlapping each other on the mini map right here and i've pointed the pointer is just showing my physical location on the boat so when i'm out of the boat and at the front at the bow i'm actually going to be standing right in the middle of this hot spot in fact i'll probably be a little bit towards the outer edge of the hotspot so if I cast out there's a good chance I might miss this hotspot altogether so a tip if you've got the fish finder is to back up a tiny bit like this and then head out and based on my location I'm probably going to be picking up fish from Port Jackson because this is not ocean this is actually Port Jackson so I'm likely to get stingrays and a few other things from here also the boat rarity only works if you press e to stand on your boat and as you can see my position move the icon moved down on the mini map it now shows my position as being facing out this way and most of the fish are going to be out here right in this area where my cursor is so we take the rarity of the boat the rarity of the rod and we cast into the water right in the middle and then we drop this down underneath and you can see we've got copper band butterfly fish leave it in there just leave it in there to try and get the best fish possible yes we're getting port jackson fish if you think oh i'm not catching anything check your fish finder again and as you can see based on my position i'm actually not catching in the hot spot at all because I'm in the wrong position on the boat so we're gonna go over this side and this is a little bit better now I should be able to cast just right here it might be a little bit too far out but there we go we've got a stingray another stingray And I've discovered a new species of rare bluefin tuna as I didn't really get a lot of those I'm assuming it's just gonna be a size difference so let's take a look yep I've got a regular and a large there is one more thing that we need to check before we go any further and of course I mean 1700 fish that's a lot of fish is there actually a board for all of the different species I want to check and see if there is one that exists so let's go over here and see if they've added one so we've got uh, all time fish caught, weekly fish caught, oh my gosh, so these are exploiters right there, there's no way that you can catch that many fish, so the people at the top are exploiting, uh, weekly sea creatures and all time sea creatures, so we don't have a board for the fish rarity yet, but that would be actually a good thing to have as well. Alright, so we're going to go, oh look, right here we will despawn, ironically. So we're going to take the boat. We're going to go and find a hot spot out in the ocean, away from sharks. Somewhere between all three islands. Oh, look right here. Look at this. We've got triple hot spot action right here. I probably want to angle this way right here. It's about perfect. The reason why is because I want to stand on the bow of the boat in one of these two positions. And based on 
the angle of the boat it looks like I can cast directly in front of me right now and get right in that hot spot already we've got a legendary on the on the line I am collecting most species to be honest I mean I'm not restricting myself to anything because there are so many different varieties and colors of fish I don't think you should limit your catch I think you should just be able to fill up your inventory but if you're going for you know XP then maybe you do want to be picky but otherwise don't be too picky and there is one more thing too that I did not mention in my previous video which is worth mentioning now if you go to your like backpack where you've got your skins you also have the opportunity to sell directly from wherever you are you do have to buy it it is a game pass but you can get it and you can just sell any of your fish so that you never actually fill up your inventory it's like having infinite backpack but you can sell wherever you are at any time and it's incredibly like awesome thing to have so I have it so I don't have to go back to any of the I don't have to reset I don't have to leave my boat out in the ocean I can just sell wherever I am no problems and that's exactly what I'm doing selling wherever I am no problem now I already have the huge rainbow parrot fish in my aquarium so I can sell that and uh, of course I got the whale head and the tail last time from defeating Moby Wood so I now just have a few other things that I want to keep and now I can just concentrate on fishing okay we have discovered a new rainbow parrotfish so let's take a look at that right now let's go to the ocean and here we go let's go to the backpack and scroll down uh, oh we picked up a baby I didn't realize I didn't have a baby of that but it's always good when you collect one that you haven't collected before they're going to fill up your inventory in order check it out and see what it is so we've got a baby there also don't forget to check your hotspot finder you're going to earn those gems if you do enough quests and you'll be able to get this this is really important you want to make sure that you're still fishing these hotspots to try and increase your rarity chances I don't think they're going to increase the rarity of the colors and the sizes so much as they are going to increase the rarity of the type of fish you get so the difference between a mythic and a common basically so definitely find that hotspot and there's more chance that you'll get more mythics but fish everything don't discriminate grab everything because any fish can be something that you don't have in your index and any fish can be any color or size so yeah definitely fish everything a feature in this game that I would really like to see is uh, triple hooks so when you put your line down you catch three fish at once and not just one and then you still got the chance to get two of one kind as well I think that would be a really awesome feature it means that we've got more chance of getting these rarer fish more chance of getting the different colors and the different sizes and just make it a lot easier okay we have discovered a new rare clownfish so let's go take a look at it and we've got a blue one a regular blue one so we're going to equip that right now let's go to the bottom of my index here on my inventory I've got two of them all right let's equip it and take a look at it oh my gosh it looks amazing very cool isn't it so this one is going to go straight into the aquarium now here is the next set of tips for you that you're going to need really important that when you do catch a rare fish you do not want to accidentally sell it so this is what you're going to have to do you're going to have to go back to your aquarium and take care of that first also separate out any ones that you are trying to collect and get them out of the way before you sell even if you have the ability to sell from anywhere you might want to do this so we're going to go back and put away our baby parrotfish straight into the aquarium so we've got baby fish here and we've got our nice like newly found collectible ones right here we've got two of those to put in so we're going to put them both in close it out and take a look okay so you can't really see the blue neon effect as much as you can see the red neon effect but if I go into edit mode right here and then I go to decorations then I can actually should be able to go into the glass so you can see the color better yeah it's not particularly blue looking right here but yeah these fish are pretty amazing look at that 
yeah it's not as bright out of the water as it is in the water okay so that is basically how you do that now I also had to put away some babies to I? so let's go to edit the tank then I'm gonna right click and then drag around to this part of the tank I only have room for one more baby in there oh my gosh so this is where I kind of swap them out a little bit it's a baby parrotfish there it is first time collecting one of those that's in my tank and now I can just look, look through my inventory really quickly and see if there's anything else I want and no nothing else so that is done there it is over there joining all my other babies awesome okay now I can pretty much sell the rest of my inventory oh no I forgot do not sell I just sold those I didn't mean to before you go and sell any fish and I've probably blown it by selling all the Napoleon fish once you've gone and put the fish that you want to keep in your aquarium go to Reagan's Tavern and see if there are any quests that require it bluefin tuna stingrays and rockfish so we can do the stingray one you know what we'll take that one I think I'm just going to take the balloon over to ancient shores now here is my plan I'll probably get despawned but let's find a spot to spawn in my boat we're gonna try and back in right here line it up uh, check the fish finder okay so the river it's hard to tell if there's anything there and stand here go into first person line up the river and cast out so if there are any like hot spots in the river the boat and the rod bonus will apply Okay, we've got our first new species of tigerfish discovered so let's go to ancient shores and check it out and we got a regular one it's just a normal one and piranha there we go <laughs> oh wow already we've got two different ones so we got a large one with a blue fin oh my gosh we're gonna have to check that one out right now as well let's go to the backpack there it is you can actually see it this time right there so let's put it on and put six <gasps> wow check him out shall we see how much he's worth actually because it is a large and it's actually further into the index so first I have to press six and unequip it go to sell without selling let's go check it out Large Piranha Uncommon Glow is worth 6,918.75. Wow, that's awesome. Look at that. Already this is working. This is working really well. As I said, it is quite random. So let's cast back into the river. Do it in first person. Stand on the back of your yacht. And I leveled up and discovered a new species at the same time. Well, that was kind of cool. Let's check it out. Always check it, honestly. And also, by the way, another thing. If you're already in the menu of the one that you collect, press the back key and then go back in and it will show you the new one that you got. So I got a baby as well. That's a new variation of that. Okay, I've just got a new uh, tigerfish variation as well. So let's check that one out as well and see what that looks like. Oh my gosh. All right, there it is. It's a red one. That looks awesome. I think I'm going to put my creature locator away for a second. And let's press five. Whoa, look at this tigerfish. Wow. It looks awesome another one already wow let's check in how much and see what that one is worth it says i've got 192,000 worth of fish there there we go it's worth 9330 oh my gosh that is that's and that's not too rare like it is rare but it's like not super rare it is the common glow not like the uncommon glow which is the piranha that is the uncommon glow but it is still the highest value fish in the river so it's just gonna scale up from there that's insane oh my gosh wow so I think we need to put these new fish and the new babies into the tank back at Port Jackson in my aquarium I'm just gonna use this and I'm back on my boat 
You can also enter your aquarium without looking at the list by just clicking on the big wavy line at the bottom. And here we are. So let's go and put these new fish in. Oh my gosh, I've got room for plenty. So let's see. Here we go. We put the large piranha in and the new tiger fish. Let's take a look. This is really getting full now. Look at it. Oh my gosh. It's a combination of reds and blues actually. Oh hello, what are you doing out buddy? Wow, you don't even look like the right fish for that aquarium. What are you doing? You don't even belong there. Go back to your other like tank please. Thank you. That is awesome. Okay, got some more babies to put in here so we better do that as well. Oh look, there's my little piranha there. Well, they all seem to be getting along well, which is really awesome. Okay, let's fish the lava and see what we get. Let's go back and check the others. Oh, we've got a regular, looks like uncommon trout as well. Magma trout. We need to check that out. There they are. Oh my gosh, they're actually showing up as blue. Oh my gosh. Let's take a look. Wow. Holy moly, that is bright. I actually need to face away from the light to, to see this. It's so bright. It looks amazing. Look at this, a magma trout and it's bright blue. Oh my gosh. I just fished up a rare magma largemouth bass. I just fished up a really rare one just now. Look. Here it is. It's a large one. It's like bright white. <gasps> I can't wait to see this one. I hope it works. I hope it works. I hope it's there. There we go. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at it. It's like bright white. It's insane. Oh my gosh. I've got to put this one in the tank and my other one that I caught from here as well. <gasps> oh, oof. Oh my gosh. This is this is awesome okay um i want to be safe getting back so i'm going to take mr popples back to the mainland it's mr popperson i just called him mr popples i just called him mr popples i'm so sorry mr popperson i didn't mean to call you that i am just so excited because thank you because <laughs> i've got a really super awesome fish and i didn't even check the value of it I really need to see what the value of it is well before I put it in my tank. So let's jump into my aquarium again. Look at all these amazing fish. And let's put that up there. And then we're going to go to the cell. We're not going to sell it. We just want to see what it's worth. Okay, um, I can't see it. So I'm just going to go to my tank and get it in there. First I'm going to get these blue ones in because they're insane. And then I'm going to scroll down and there it is. I'm going to put that one in too. Wow, look at it. Oh my gosh. And where's my blue buddies? I just put them in too. Oh, there they are. Blue and orange. Look at that. Far out, Brussels sprout. They, that, that's my tank. I can't believe it. So you can get yourself lots of rare fish. You really can by following the basics. Look at my tank. Isn't it amazing? Look at all those awesome fishies in there. Super excited to have all those and can't wait to keep going with my index because that's 10,000 gems if you can complete it and it's incredibly difficult. Look how difficult it is. Oh my gosh. But you can increase your chances by making sure you've got a mythic rod and upgrading the rarity. Making sure you've got the yacht and upgrading the rarity. Make sure you've got the fish finder and use the hotspots to find the best locations. And those are the main tips. Wow. So excited about this new feature in the game. It's really awesome. What do you think of that new feature? If you did enjoy this and you also have caught some awesome fish, please leave your comments below. I'd like to check out your aquariums and don't forget to leave a like on this video. Make sure that you are subscribed and hit the bell and we will definitely catch you again next time for Amazing Gaming. Goodbye.